Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. And before we start the video, if you have an bamboo A1 or A1 combo, I want you to go over to it and unplug it. We're gonna get into the latest news and some of the background on the Bamboo Labs A1 combo recall. So like I said in the beginning of this video, if you have a Bamboo Lab A1 or A1 combo, go ahead, unplug that and stop using it because there's been a total recall on this unit. And that is due to issues with the cable that's connecting the heat bed to the printer. And this can be very dangerous because this printer uses an AC power to heat that bed. That's why it heats up so quickly, but that can be, depending on your country, anywhere between 110 to 220 volts. And that can do some damage if you were to touch it, if it's frayed or if there's a problem, or obviously for a potential fire. So stop using these and I'm gonna to talk to you about what Bamboo Labs has done about this issue. Okay, so the first email I got on this unit, which was kind of funny because I was getting ready to get the, re get the review out because I've had it now for a couple months, uh, was on January 29th. And it's informing us about a critical matter concerning A1 printers, uh, that there could be a possible problem with the cable going to the heat bed to the printer unit. And it's asking us if we notice any abnormalities uh, that, or a suspect cable that could be causing problems with heat fluctuations, is there any damage? And they show some photos on their website and it's linked through the email. And you can see those photos here. And it's quite distinctive that something is going on probably due to the, you know, the speed of the, uh, the hotbed going back and forth. Maybe the bend, the, the extreme bend, it could be the actual, I'm, this is conjecture on my part, it could be the materials used for the cable, it could be many, many things. Either way, there, there's an issue they're talking about. And they're saying they're looking more into it and they've engineered uh, a cable protector that they're going to send to us on uh, sometime in February. If you've noticed maybe a bit of a problem, you can go ahead and print your own and they give you a link to that to go ahead and add that. Now, I didn't get a chance to print that. I've been kind of busy on some other projects and I haven't really used this in a while, which is good. And I, so I didn't get a chance to print it. And then boom, on February 5th, I got a new email. And this one is the most important one. So the email on February 5th states, we are writing to inform you of an updated safety issue regarding your recent purchase of the A1 printer. We are initiating a recall process due to the heat bed cable issue. And then it links to a blog article and you can take a look at that on their website. Links for all this information is below. Safety first, as a precautionary measure, we kindly request all A1 printers owners immediately cease using their printers. I feel like uh, Walter Cronkite reading this and I just, yes, I just aged myself a lot by saying that. But uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever actually read stuff like this right off the a paper before for a video. So this is causing a lot of convenience, they go on to say. And then they give us some things that we can do now that this has happened. So this is just like if a car has been recalled. Uh, they're telling us this is damaged, don't use it. Now here is what we're offering to do now that there's this issue. Which of course some people are quite upset about because they love this printer, it was, it's relatively expensive. Um, and now you're not supposed to use it. So here are the two options that we are given. So you may return the A1 or A1 combo printer for a refund. So I'm assuming full refund. The refund process may take up to 15 days. So this is just getting your money back. They'll also say they will give you an exclusive $80 USD discount voucher through the mail after the printer is delivered, the voucher is good for one-time use, it is valid for three months, and can be used for purchasing any printer model available on the Bamboo Lab store. Now, it does say printer model. Uh, I don't know if that also includes um, uh, filament or accessories or whatnot. That would be good to know. I don't really need to buy another printer from them, so this money, if it's just for printers, doesn't really do me any good. Um, 
also in this email and it, in, it doesn't say anything about how do I ship this up? How does that happen? But there is actually another link to this that we'll get this information from. So now option two is interesting. Wait for the replacement of the heat bed. You may wait for the availability of a new upgraded heat bed. So instead of getting a full refund, you can hold on to your printer. And while they're working on testing out new cabling, maybe new, uh, a new way this wraps around, uh, a new style of cable. Uh, I know I had an auxiliary uh, artillery printer that had an AC, a 110 AC, and the cable was flat and it sort of, I never had a problem with it. Maybe they'll do something like that, I don't know. But we can go ahead and get away from this replacement. Uh, again, please cease using it. Now, if you wait for the replacement, you will receive an exclusive $120 discount voucher after closing this uh, choosing this option the voucher is good for one-time use it is valid for three months and can be used for purchasing any products on the bamboo lab official website so this one since it uses that specific language i'm assuming yes this can be used for anything whereas the other one can only be used for printers because it's all it mentions it does not say anything and then it says you will be notified by email when the new flatbed becomes available expected around the end of march further guidance will be provided to facilitate replacement and they actually give a link to the video for that and uh it's pretty simple but some people might not want to do that they might not want to take the machine apart unplug uh, cabling from the power supply and from the board and do some of the steps involved again links for all these steps will be below they might not want to do that so then at that point unfortunately their only option is to send the printer back for a refund and to do that you've got to have the original box which i don't have anymore anyway so hopefully and i'm assuming they're going to have to start making some accommodations because this is no fault of the user and if you had this printed out for a month month and a half you probably don't have the box in the original packaging and this isn't our problem this is their problem and it is a problem some other companies have had over the years again this is one of their first bed slingers uh, and you know, it obviously didn't get tested out as well as it should have. Now, initially some people thought maybe it was because the unit was too close up against the wall. So the cable was rubbing, but they've obviously determined that, no, this happens no matter what. So again, my cable's fine. It looks, there's no issues with it. I'm not going to use this printer until then. So look below for more information on this. I'll do some more videos as new information comes out, but it's not too bad that they're taking full responsibility about this. They've got emails out pretty quickly once they discovered what the problem is. The only thing I have noticed, which I think is a little odd, is when you go to their homepage, you know, that printer is still there. You just can't purchase it. It, sh it should say something on a banner. I know you might not want to announce this, but it should say something on one of the sl on the slider on the homepage about this recall because there might be people out there that have this printer and know nothing about this issue. Uh, maybe they didn't look at the emails. Maybe they just they go to spam. Uh, I think it should be on the website and maybe they should be doing a little bit better getting this information out to the community. Hopefully, videos like this and other videos I've seen on the topic are helping. Um, I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Do you have one of these? What are you going to do? If you're curious, I am going to keep this unit. Uh, again, I feel very confident in being able to replace the uh, heat bed and uh, making that all work together again. Uh, I'll have $120 to spend on filament and maybe some hardened steel uh, nozzles. And then I'll run this through some more testing and do a review video at some point. But that's what I'm going to do. But I'm curious, what are you going to do? Leave, leave me a note in the description and uh, tell me what tell, or not the description <laughs> in the comments and tell me what your thoughts are and what you're going to do so that's it guys uh be safe uh unplug your machine don't use it don't take a chance and i'll see you in the next video have a good one and take it easy